Hi all CNC freaks and good millers. Also the late persons are welcome. This time I will gonna show you how to implement DXF to key code for getting good key code without any cam software at all. You can do all the stuff on the machine itself, like here. I will close down this machine here. We'll open up the machine to show you how it is gonna work. First, open, you see here, there's no DXF to decode inside. No DXF is presented. So we'll close down the machine once more. And where you get DXF to key code from. DXF to key code can just open up a browser of your choice, get DXF to key code inside, search for it and go to SourceForce project DXF to key code. There you get more information on the project and more information on how to work with. I will strict go to files, take some seconds here uh, to get through it. The first one is the Windows one, you don't like it, maybe you like it but you don't want it. The second one is the newest source file you would like to heft. So download this file. I already did it. It's the file here. For people that are not familiar with the Ubuntu and Linux, Linux versions, double click on the file itself and export the file. I keep the, the source folder. This here was in the zip file. Here's the file that makes the geek code. You can open it standalone and can work with, but we would like to implement it into Linux CNC. So let's open up. Oh, let's go back here. First, I show you inside Linux CNC there are the config folders. It's only a simulation PC here. There is no real machine uh, adapted to the PC. Let's open up the sim folder. This is the ENE I am going to modify. I already loaded here this ENE. You would like to go to the filter section. There you see there is no DXF inside. You also need the Python to be accepted. You just have to get those two lines inside. It's all on the description uh, inside the readme of Linux of DXF to Geek Code in the source folder. It's there's a description how to do it. But just copy the upper one program extension equals dot DXF. This is only the description. You don't need it, but it's good to have it here. Then what happens if DXF ending is found open up dxf to geekcode.py oh where's the file it will say it will give you here an error you have to get the file the full pass so for people that are not familiar with linux just go back to the file browser linux cnc source where this file is hit control list l all that is marked is on the middle mouse button. So go back to the, the file we would like to modify. Right before DXF to Geek Code, hit the middle mouse button and there's all the stuff inside. We only have to do here one more letter. It's the to get what's it called in English? <laughs> you know it. You have to put it here and save it. 
So we are done. This should load our preferred system. I will now load the machine once more. I hit here on the left side, I got a direct link to Linux CNC. This is the modification machine we did. There's our machine. So start the machine, hit open file, and there is our DXF file. So we load the DXF file here, as you see it. Now you can, you have here the shapes, and here are some options. Let's say configuration, I would like to see the tool table. It's a two millimeter cutter with a start radius of three, it should work. So close it. I would like this with a this shape with a cutter compensation. Let's say left. Oh, now it's outside. Where it's a, as it is a hole, we would switch direction, and there we go. And now I would say it's it's okay. Export, export shapes, and as you see there, we have our DXF to G code. You can modify all shapes you like and all the depth and whatever you want inside the xf 2 g code and export it to your system you now can save this file here down there as a g code file it's not saved as a g code file you have to save it on your own if you have trouble just join us on irc chat Chatzilla, oh, I would like, I can do it here and uh, now on the internet. Uh, it's uh, add on here for uh, the Mozilla Firefox Chatzilla. There we go. It's now just hit Freenode. It's the server. And then slash join. Slash is the word I found, I missed. For some seconds, join Linux CNC. I won't hit it now because uh, people don't like to see themselves. If you hit now, enter, return, you will join the channel and you can talk to a lot, uh, maybe 150 persons around here. So it's good. See you to the next tutorial. I hope you, I could help you. Bye for the next time.